Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video in September of last year that Microsoft had started rolling out a redesigned Photos app for Windows 11 Insiders. And now recently, um, an update to the Photos app for all Windows 11 users has started rolling out. And this is mainly, the update mainly makes changes to the editing experience. So we get in mainly an updated editing experience in this latest update to the Windows 11 Photos app. So if we just head over to the Photos app, click on any random image, and we go to the editing uh, uh, section. This is mainly what has been updated, your editing experience. And one of the first changes, if we go to crop, you'll see that when you crop an image, the actual resolution of the cropped area is displayed. So I think that is a very useful feature. And also apparently if you edit a transparent image, you will also get a checkered background in the transparent areas of that image. And then the adjustments tab now apparently displays all your controls by default, where previously you had to click on a sub menu to see all of your controls. And there have also been apparently some new filters added uh, in this latest update to the Photos app. And then also draw now, the ability to draw on images is now also known as mockup. So those are some of the uh, changes, mainly to the editing experience now in that latest Windows 11 uh, Photos app update, which you can um, go check for uh, in the Microsoft Store. And um, you need to be running that latest version as mentioned. So once downloaded, to get um, the update to this uh, editing section of the Photos app, if we just head to our settings and we just go down to about this app, you need to be running, running Microsoft Photos version 2021.21120.8011.0. That's the latest version that will carry this update to the editing experience uh, in this latest update to the Windows 11 Photos app. And this is also very similar. This uh, new editing section now is also very similar uh, to a video I posted regarding OneDrive um, uh, at the beginning of December last year where I mentioned that OneDrive on the web now had a new photo and uh, imaging editing section and features and this is very similar to the features I mentioned in that video. So I will leave a link down below to that um, video on OneDrive with those new editing features as well if you are interested as the two are very similar. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.